Presenting a world of home video entertainment for your enjoyment from Thorn EMI Video. Movie blockbusters, action classics, children's films, top TV shows and much, much more. So stay tuned for preview scenes of other exciting attractions at the end of this movie. Thorn EMI Video brings you the best in new video entertainment. The best in drama. She challenged the rules. She fought for an ideal. She risked everything for what she believed in. In the end, she lost more than her rights. She lost her sanity. Jessica Lang is riveting as Francis. The best in blood-curdling horror. Some extraterrestrials aren't friendly. He exists to avenge, to destroy, to possess. Bearing powers of black magic from deep space comes Extro. The best of action-packed thrillers. He's more than just a CIA agent. He's America's most guarded secret. Not even the president knows who he is. The soldier. You don't assign him. You unleash him. Francis. Extro. The soldier. Three new blockbusters from Thor Nehemiah Video.
Shadow? taken away. He left us, now you know that. He'll come back. He still loves us. Of course he loves us. Go to sleep. Good night, darling. What's wrong? Don't worry, Annalise. It's the same thing. Shall I talk to him? I don't understand this nightmare. I thought he got over all that. He needs a father. But you're here. He doesn't like me. That's not true. It is true. He's obsessed with Sam. Daddy did this. Daddy could do it better. It's been three years. How can he remember all that stuff? He likes you. Does he? Of course. Doesn't feel that you're his father yet. You just need more time together. Love Ashkenazi's interpretation of 
Lord Dipsy's 29th prelude. Tony? It's all right, sweetheart. You've had a bad dream. Let's go back to bed. Joe. Daddy's hurt. What? <gasps> oh, God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Joe! Don't be frightened, Mum. Where does it hurt? I won't be cross. Don't worry, Mum. Joe! What's the matter? Call the doctor. Russ, what's he done? Quickly! Annalise, get Annalise! come from? I don't know. From you? Daddy sent it. Well, how did he send it? 
don't know. Just felt something sticky. I think it's time you got some sleep. Into bed, then. Thanks, Doctor. Is that all? Good night, Jenny. Night. Snuggle right down, sweetheart. Night, night. Sleep well, love. There's nothing wrong with him, is there? He appears to be perfectly healthy. If he'd lost that much blood, he'd be too weak to tell us anything. He hasn't told us anything anyways. Well, I test this sample, of course, but I'm quite certain it's not Tony's blood. Well, if it's not Tony's blood, whose is it? You're saying he's pulled some great test prank. Why? Well, could your husband possibly have been in contact with Tony without your knowing it? No. I think you're making a big thing out of it. He's a resourceful kid. He has a big imagination. He doesn't need Sam to help him come up with a trick like that. Joe, just stay out of this, please, will you? Well, I think we can all agree that Tony has had a rather traumatic experience. And he does still seem to insist that his father disappeared in this bizarre manner. Yeah. He won't accept that his father ran out on him, so he has him disappear in a flash of light. Psychology 101. Uh, Mrs. Phillips, may I suggest that Tony might benefit from some professional help in this area? Oh, a listen to psychologist. me. Tony simply misses his father. He doesn't need thousands of expensive psychiatrists. Only little time and care. Uh, hold on, Annalise. Just let him finish. Well, it's just a suggestion. I'll ring you tomorrow, and if you'd like me to arrange something for you, you can let me know that. Good night, Mrs. Phillips. And good night, Miss... Uh... Merci. Miss Merci. Come on, he's doing his best. Yeah, stupid doctors. All a doctor can think of is another doctor. It's just as was the con. Oh, come on, poor thing. We need a rest. It isn't Tony. It's Sam. What do you mean? I mean all this nightmare business. It reminds you of Sam. And what about Joe? Oh, I don't know. I don't want to think about it. Okay. Good night. Sleep well. Night, Annalise. Thanks. See you in the morning.
attention. Okay. Come on, Annalise, let's go. Hi. What time is it? Tony time. Is he going to school? Yeah. What about last night? Ah, uh, forget it. Is she awake? Uh, it's hard to tell. Morning, Tony. How you doing? I'm okay. Listen, I'm going to be doing some pictures of old airplanes next week. Why don't you come along? Maybe you can get you a ride in one of them. Maybe. Ah, come on, you'll love it. Don't really know. Tony, I don't want Harry in the kitchen. Put him back in his tank. Don't worry, Harry. Daddy likes you. I like Harry too, but not in the kitchen. And he's not going to school. Oh, Mum. I'm in those shoes today with Paula. Can you come and look after the lab work? I'm picking up Tony. What about Annalise? Oh, she's got other plans. Oh, I see. She's got other plans. What did Tony say about last night? I didn't ask him. I'm not going to push it. Hey, Tony! School time, come on, Tony! Morning. Hello, and how's my little Tony? I'd eat you up. Tony, come on. Getting so tall. Uh. Work hard at your lessons, young man. Diligence pays. Tony!
pulled back. I can't. Ah, it's not important. No. Hello? Rachel, you're not busy. Wait, do we need any food? Uh-huh. How much? Yeah, yeah. What size? Well, what about liver? No, no, it, it's okay. Uh, I, I just had a pain in my leg. Oh. No, it's okay. Look, I'll pay me up. Yeah. I'll see you about five. See you. How long we got? Long enough. Okay, Paula, could you stop eating? We don't want to see the crumbs on your toenails. Kev, could you just get rid of that stuff? That's good. And dust off the shoes. That's it. Nearly there, Joe. Okay, now. Oh, hang on. Could you remove the food, Kevin? Take it away. Joe, you don't want to see a fat foot here. Thank you very much. Paul, you're not selling an orthopedic shoe. That's it, Joe. Okay, Paul, could you just arch the foot a bit? Now think of that foot as your face and smile. Cheese. Bloody cheese. Paula, let's stop messing around now and just look beautiful. Okay, give me that one. That's it. Have you uh, rounded up those duped eggs yet? I'll be at the lab at four. I'm off to get Tony. Yeah, okay, I'll see you later. Listen, we'll have to do one more for Lloyd, so just keep the Novocaine in the oh, foot, okay? I'm going to take him to the zoo. See if he'll talk to me. Mm, it's a good idea. Paula, please stop drooling. Has been kept in. No, his father picked him up. That's impossible. A few minutes ago, you just missed them. It can't be Tony. I saw them leave myself. Which way did they go? Mum's upset. You bet I'm upset. Good to see you, Rachel. Looking well. What are you doing here? I'm back. You're back? Back from where? I'm not sure. You're not sure? You disappeared for three years without a word. It... I don't know where I've been. I can't remember a thing until today. I saw Tony in the street, so I... You want to come home? Like it was. That's it, isn't it? I knew you'd come back. They didn't believe me. Who's they? Three years, Sam. Three years. You were here, Daddy. You better clean yourself up. There's a razor in the bathroom. I'll get you something else to wear. Do you want a drink? Still scotch? Please. <laughs> Hello, Harry. Oh, he's beautiful. Daddy, are you going to stay with us? Are you back for good? Yep. You picked up Tony from school. Oh, yes, I'm serious. Well, he doesn't know. He's lost his memory. Mum said you can wear those. Harry's laid four eggs. How long before they hatch? Well, wait and see. Oof. That's Joe's. Well, how should I know? Joe. J 
Joe, please just get over here. Who was that girl with you this morning? Oh, Adelaide. She lives here. What does she do? She helps Mum. She's French. this yes I think I do Sam what's the last thing that you remember the cottage we were at the cottage I was with Tony you'd gone away and it started what did first this light this brilliant light above me I could see Tony was scared he he kept yelling, but I, I couldn't hear him. It was as if I was held in that light. And a wind, a strong wind. It was hot. It felt good. Sounds like one of Tony's stories. Was it you on the phone this morning? No. Joe will be back in a minute. Hello there, Miss Goodman. Oh, good evening, Mr. Daniels. I see you're walking up the stairs again. Yes, it helps me get to my apartment. Oh, so it's your apartment. I see Mr. Phillips is back. I'll miss our little talks. <laughs> Come on, Dad. Rachel? In here, Joe. Let's look, 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 look. That one. Oh, Daddy. Well, Sam, how long have you been back? Um, just today. Where are you staying? He hasn't arranged anything yet. Uh, Tony, time for your bath. I want to stay with Daddy. Tony. You're going to be around for a while? <coughs> or for the time being. What are your plans? I don't know. I haven't got any work lined up, if that's what you mean. Mm, things are pretty tight. Won't be easy. I hear you're busy. I've been lucky. <laughs> you know me, Sam. Look British, think Yiddish. Joe, would you like a drink? Yeah, that'd be nice. Sam? Um, no, thanks. Uh, Annalise, keep an eye on Tony, will you? Okay, okay. Come so you've been, uh... Taking care of things, have you? Yeah. Look, Sam, what do you want? I want to be home. This isn't your home anymore. That should be obvious. I'm just bringing these in. I can't handle this. Look, I don't know what to say to the guy. He thinks he's going to move back in. Well, give him time. Not time. He has had three years. He has got to go. Where could he go? This is the only place he's got. Rachel, he walked out on you. I don't know that he did. I see. He can't remember anything. That is garbage, Rachel. He tried something new. He ran away on his family. It didn't work out, so he comes back. What else do you expect him to say? You don't know him. I married him and I lived with him. And now you live with me. I just don't trust him.
I needed them. What for? I'm not the same as before. Do you remember when they took me? Yes. I went to another world. I had to be changed so I could live there. Why did they take you? I was lucky. Could have been anyone. Why did you come back? I came back for you. And Mum? Of course. Do you want to come with me? Don't be afraid. I'm your dad. You want to catch a death or cold? You are. should never have left him alone with Tony. That's what he came back for. Come on, Dad. It's my turn. Come on, Dad. Where have you been? Um, we went to buy some sweets. Well, would you mind letting me know where you're going next time? Of course. No, you haven't done that properly. No, I haven't stopped. Oh, I want another one. And now news of fresh disasters. I'm speaking from the car park where only hours ago the hideously mutilated body of a young woman was discovered. One senior police officer said this is an act of the most monstrous brutality. You look different from your picture. Really? Mm. You look much younger. Don't you think so, Richard? I don't know. I haven't thought about it. A change is as good as a rest, right, Sam? Gets you back in shape. It is odd you arrived at this moment. You know, Tony's been dreaming about you. I'm glad he hasn't forgotten about me. Did he tell you what happened last night? Yes. He's missed me. to get along. Oh, very well. He wants you to stay, you know. How long will you be here? Well, it's not up to me. Not long. It's not up to you, either. Please. As a matter of fact, it is up to me. Joe. Because Rachel's divorcing you. Joe, not now. But why not now? Everyone's here. Right. So I have a little announcement I'd like to make. Rachel and I are going to get married. Oh, great. Thank you. I'm so happy for you. Sam! You crazy maniac. You're out of your fucking mind! Daddy! Daddy! You didn't have to dump that on him. He should be in a hospital. What is it, son? started on its own. I didn't mean to. I was just thinking about the noise it made. Well, that's all it takes. If you think hard about something, you can make it happen. But I couldn't stop it. I tried. Look, you'll be able to do lots of things. Don't be frightened. 
Use it when you need it. What for? Well, you'll know when the time comes. You'll feel it. Like when you were hurt by that car. I knew what was happening. Remember, it's our secret. We're a team, right? Right. Do you like Annalise? Perfect. It's just what we need. But, uh, you mustn't damage her, okay? belongs to your son. Oh, God. Harry. It appeared in my supper. How did it get there? I am not interested. Clearly, your son is not responsible enough to look after animals. Anyway, it's ridiculous keeping a snake as a pet. I'm sorry. She's just a stupid woman. out some more of your own clothes. You didn't throw them out. Good night. What are you going to do? Look, you can't stay here. You know that. Oh, don't push me. Letting him stay isn't going to help. And it won't do Tony any good either. Hello? When he left, I knew exactly what I'd say to him if he came back. And what I felt. And now I don't know. If that's how you feel, what the hell am I doing here? Darling, I'm sorry. That's not what I meant.
Squeak out of you tonight. I'll be very angry. Do you understand? Yes, Mom. That's her again. I hate her. Morning, Parrot. Have some breakfast. Here. Come on, speak to me, Parrot, huh? Why don't you speak to me?
Do you remember when that was taken? I just painted the bedroom ceiling. You can see the paint in my hair, look. I can't remember who took it. I did. I had a timer. Oh, yes, you balanced it in the tree. God, it was so hot that summer. Telephone. Coming. Is it Joe? No, it's a doctor. Oh. Hello? Oh, well, that's a relief. No pain at all. No, no, he's been okay today. Um... Thanks. Yes, well, thank you for phoning. Annalise, could you take the stuff that's ready to the cleaners? That way we'll get some of it back by this afternoon. Don't you want me to take this? Uh, no, I haven't finished with it yet. And I'll finish the stuff in the bedroom, too. OK. See you later. Come on, Tony, let's go. Who's this? I'm coming. 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 I don't know. It was in your jacket. Well, I've never seen her before. Oh, come on, you must know who it is. She's probably worried about you. And this? I mean, what day was this? Whose boat? Well, maybe it isn't my jacket. Or your money? working today just checking some stuff how are they they'll do what's the one no I'm driving we're going to the cottage who well me and Sam I thought it would help if I took him there mm -hmm. it's the last thing he remembers hasn't been easy for me either you know I found this in his pocket As he's shot. Look on the other side. He doesn't know anything about it. Fine. I'm leaving Tony with Annalise. Good. Can't you feel any sympathy? No. Joe, is this okay? Let's take a look. Hello, Rachel. Don't you like it? I think the blue one's better, Paula. Mm. Take it away. I thought you'd given up doing that sort of stuff. I've changed my mind. Sam is waiting. Bye. Sorry, Sam. I want to play hide and seek. You're too old to play hide and seek. I want to. Well, you can't do it here. There's nowhere to hide. Going to my home. I'll be there in a minute. Tony, will you be okay playing on your own? I've got to lie down for a while. You're always lying down. Headache. Later on, perhaps. I think we should play now. Can I come in? Wait a minute. We'll have a quick game. Just a quick game, OK? Big deal. Stay in here. I won't be long. Seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Okay, here I come. 
Merde, j'en ai marre. Someone's been here. Nothing's missing. Shall we report it? Let's go for a walk. I want to see some more before it gets dark. Okay. Anna? Anna Lise? Tony? Thank <laughs> you. 
Tony's treehouse is still here. You never came here, you know, after you left. I think it was over here, wasn't it? Have some good times here, didn't we? I mean, this was more home than London. Did you come here with Joe? Yes. You're not too sure about him, are you? Well, it's just. You're not, are you? It's not like that anymore, Sam. I'm going to phone home. See how they're getting on. Mr. Knight, it's Mrs. Phillips here from number six. I wonder if you'd go and check out my apartment for me. Tony and Annalise are there on their own, and I can't get through. Delighted to help. You leave it to me, Mrs. Phillips. No problem. Thanks. It'll be a pleasure.
bulbs. Nothing works properly in this open country. Tony. Have you tried calling? No, I can't get through. I called Mr. Knight to check things out. He hasn't called me back. Yeah, well, look, would it help if I uh, went to see if Tony's okay? Would you? Sure, I'll go. Thanks. Just see that everything's okay. Hmm? I'm a bit worried about them. Mm hmm. Okay, I'll call you from the apartment. Okay. Bye. Bye bye. You mean she just left you alone? Never mind. Just get in the car, okay? Come on. Where are we going? We're going to the cottage to see your mum. Great! Stay here. Why? Just do it. Don't open any of the doors, okay? Lock it.
Rachel. Rachel. Where's Tony? He's in the car. We've got to get into the car and drive away from here. Christ, come on.
And now, here are some preview scenes of other exciting attractions from Thorn EMI video. Hers is one of Hollywood's most shocking real-life stories. Francis Farmer was always unconservative. Occupation. She became a film star of the 30s in spite of herself. What has all this got to do with acting? But Frances wouldn't conform to the ideals of Hollywood. She fought the hypocrisy. Oh, I can't tell you how proud I am to meet you. Bull she challenged their it's rules. Miss Farmer. This whole thing is a joke. She had her own form of escape. They didn't approve, so they had her committed. The rehabilitation was degrading, cruel and painful, but she wouldn't give in. And finally, they removed her will. Frances, starring Jessica Lange, a powerful and harrowing story of a woman who dared to be different. They're our government's most guarded secret. They're not on any computer. The tasks assigned them are not always legal. They don't solve problems, they terminate them. Their leader, codename, the soldier. The prize. Plutonium transport, mayday, mayday. The demand. They've captured the oil fields. Unless they withdraw, we'll be forced to detonate a nuclear device. The threat. So I cannot let 50% of the world's oil supplies be destroyed under any circumstances. The soldier. One man, one unit, renegade agents. Try out to solve a crisis, regardless of the risk. I don't know anything about it, is that understood? Yes, Mr. President. They tried to terminate me. What? They're changing the game in a major way. The soldier. You don't assign him. You unleash him. The soldier. Susie Banyan decided to perfect her ballet studies at a school in Germany. She arrived in a storm straight from the bowels of hell. Susie couldn't know this was no ordinary ballet school. Help me! Help! There's a murderer! This was no ordinary ballet school. Suspiria, an encounter with evil. Suspiria, Suspiria. Once little boys grew up to be reliable and hardworking. But now, in their world, respect has to be earned and kept by a lethal combination of money and violence. Bad boys. Meet Michael O'Brien. I don't want you to die. Nothing's gonna happen to me. He loves JC and the excitement of being somebody that matters. We're gonna be in and out of there so fast. Like that. Bad boys. This is a 
juvenile facility. That means you are not in charge of the zoo. We are. Come on, let's go. Bad boys. So, how do you like it so far? Do your time clean and you walk. Any trouble? And you could grow old in here, Jack. There's only one person left who believes Mick O'Brien can make it. Mick O'Brien. Life has pushed him into a corner. And he's coming out fighting. Bad boys. In a detention center, time stands still. But O'Brien won't stand for the arrival of a sworn enemy. You know, they're betting on who's gonna kill who. Moreno's the odds-on favorite. He's gonna kill you. That's what he says. Oh, let me tell you something, Maricón, you're already dead. Bad Boys, a story of the survival of the fittest. Every day is a duel of strength against weakness. Bad Boys. It's a crime what Borstal can do to a girl. Scrubbers. Every year, the kids come to Camp Stonewater expecting a summer of adventure and excitement. This year, promises to give them much, much more. Michelle, is it you? Who's there? Oh, oh, what are you looking at? It was a face, a horrible face at the window. The burning. Right now, he's out there. The burning. Now. Three major aviation titles from Thorn EMI Video. Lancaster, Spitfire, and Red Arrows. The legendary Avro Lancaster of World War II. It was the RAF's most powerful weapon, the backbone of the Bomber Command. This rarely seen wartime film traces the history of the Lancaster, from the unfortunate Manchester through test flights and into mass production. See the famous S. Sugar of number 467 Australian Squadron preparing for one of its 137 bombing missions.
experience the special sensation of takeoff seen from the mid upper turret, the roar of four Merlins, or the view from the pilot's seat as the classic 29 ton bomber settles down on the final approach for a landing. Lancaster. It's flying magic. It became the most famous fighter plane ever built, a deadly weapon that won the Battle of Britain. The Spitfire. Shown in fascinating detail by Brian Johnson, producer of numerous television programs on military and aviation history. Historic footage, never seen before by the public. Heart-stopping carrier landings. Curiosities like the Spitfire on floats. And low-level aerobatics filmed in color from the cockpit. Spitfire. This is the closest you'll ever get to flying the plane that won the Battle of Britain. Speed, precision, teamwork. The red arrows are admired by millions of fans all over the world. See the ultimate test of a pilot's skills, vividly demonstrated in what has been described as the most exciting flying film ever made. Filmed by a former RAF pilot from the cockpit of one of the team. Red arrows. Now you can feel what it's like to be part of a formation flying an intricate, high-speed aerobatic routine. Lancaster, Spitfire, Red Arrows. Three new home videos from Thorn EMI Video.